sorry, this is terrifying. Here's an update on my skin. Um, um, but you know what? We, we're gonna do it. We're gonna see our way through. It's really just my pigmentation. Definitely did give me a breakout point. Oh boy, am I excited to film this video because that means my skin has finally cleared up. As you can tell by the intro, there is a lot of fucking tears. <laughs> um, I made sure to literally document every moment that I felt sad, every moment that something new happened or found a new tip or trick. I really wanted to make almost like a documentary style of basically this past year of my life going through acne. I know I have makeup on right now, but literally the entire video I don't have makeup on, so you're gonna get a good glimpse at my skin and how it changed over the past 12 months. I'm not gonna make this video any longer than it already is. This is a very real, very raw. I don't I don't like to get ushy gushy mushy on my channel, but I thought this is appropriate because it was been my number one insecurity for probably my whole life. And yeah, you know, talking about it makes it easier for me and makes it easier for you if you're going through something similar and yeah, it's hard, but I think it'll help everyone. So this is the day that I decided to start some shit and fix my skin. I feel so fucking ugly. I don't even know why I'm filming this because I never try to film when I'm in these moods and when I break out a lot because I don't wanna put off this energy that if you have acne, you're ugly because I don't believe that. It's so hard because I've been working so hard on my skin for the past year and a half. I've done everything I feel like to try to change it and it's just constant cycles of, oh, it's getting better, it's getting worse again. Like, I don't know what to do anymore. Like, it's so terrible. It especially sucks at times like this when I really wanna go to a pool party. My friends are having a pool party and I can't imagine going right now because I'm breaking out really bad and I haven't broke out like this in a really long time. And all I can think about is like when the sun hits my face and when you can see all my pimples in 3D and it looks so terrifyingly ugly. I've been dealing with acne since I hit puberty. I've been on birth control, got off birth control, got back on birth control done everything in the past span of like six years to try to help this. My skin has been really good, but it also has been really bad. Mm. I recently got on spironolactane, so I guess I'm gonna document me for the next couple months. I have very high hopes that my new medication is gonna help. It's gonna make my skin clear, and I wanna document that, and I wanna show you guys everything I do. Because I don't want to be insecure anymore. <laughs> this sucks. Okay. Alright, this is really fucking hard for me. This is my skin right now. I also decided to go to my OBGYN and switch my birth control. I wasn't sure if that was playing a part in all of this acne too, which I'm glad I did. The doctor told me it definitely was, and I actually started that the same time I started my spironolactone. I got new birth control. I've been on this weird train with birth control, and the last six months I've been taking one that I haven't taken before. I don't think it's good for my skin, so I went to the OBGYN today, and I was asking him about it, and he's like, yeah, no, that one's not very good for your case. I was taking Larissia, if anyone takes that or is wondering. Basically, I talked to him and told him I was on spironolactane, which I now know is called spironolactone, I think. <laughs> I think I was saying it wrong this whole time. Spironolactone. My guy told me all about the pros and cons of each. I think going to a doctor was very beneficial because before I was like looking up on my own, doing my own research, didn't really like put together the pieces that well. But when I saw an OBGYN, he was like telling me the percentages of like which one you want, if you have acne and I understood it more. So you don't go see a doctor about your birth control. Don't try looking it up on your own. If any of you guys are curious, I'm now taking Nestacillus, probably also butchering that. I'm actually gonna start it tonight. I'm gonna try to have all this stuff work on me as soon as possible. I feel really good about my new birth control and about my new medication for this and I have very high hopes that it's going to work. It's just the process of getting it to work and sticking with it and having high hopes throughout the whole process. But woohoo! <laughs> it's probably been like another week since I've talked to you guys, but 
I thought I would only get better from that point because I thought I was feeling really low. But now I'm kind of like back at that point. I've been filming a glow up video, trying to feel super pretty. And honestly, I feel like so ugly. And it just really sucks. <laughs> like I literally am supposed to. I'm literally going on spring break in like two days and I have like never felt uglier. It's been like two and a half weeks on this medication and there's just not a change at all and it's just really hard. Like it literally, like it makes me just want to cancel like everything. I wish I had something positive to say right now, but I fucking don't. I feel like shit. Hello. It is officially been about a month. I don't really see any change, honestly. <laughs> It sucks because I remember the doctor saying you'd probably see a little bit of a change at least by the one month mark and I haven't really seen anything yet. I mean, I guess it is pretty early still. It's also getting really hard to just do anything <laughs> to go in public without any sort of makeup on. Like, I feel like I have to have my hair down, always covering me. Living the life. So getting into all of the facial treatments that I did, I've done chemical peels and microneedling before, but not for the extent that I had on my skin, if that makes sense. I was doing them mildly before, but now my esthetician and I got on a plan to do them twice a month or one time a month, and we're gonna really attack it headstrong. Today is facial day. I have been actually getting these facials for around a year now. It started off as just a chemical peel, and then we added a microbleeding. <laughs> micro needling and a chemical peel on top of that just like one or two layers but today i'm gonna go in and ew i'm gonna show you my skin right now but just really doing bad as you can tell and i feel like i'm gonna go in and she's gonna say that we can only do a chemical peel because micro needling can't really go on active acne and i feel like i have a lot of that i'll vlog when i go in there and you guys can see the whole process but it's very painful it's like the least fun facial ever <laughs> Cheers to acne. You guys, we're in here. We're about to do the chemical peel. We have the intense lights on. You can see all I'm gonna the prep terrifying. Skin. Let me know if this is too much too, okay? We're prepping it right now for the chemical peel. Yeah, we have the double fans because chemical peels make your skin like burn. As it sounds, chemical peel. <laughs> so we're just more spicy than that. <laughs> okay, here's the peel itself. Scale of one to ten, how does it? Okay, feel? that was actually not bad at all. Okay, good. I will do another layer though, but yeah, you'll just flake in the areas that your face moves. So your brows, mm -hmm. your nose, and your lips, and your neck if you turn. But I'm not doing much. I'm just doing like right here. Okay. Today is St. Patrick's Day, and I wanted to feel cute, so I was like, oh, let's put some tinted sunscreen on. <laughs> I got my chemical peel like two days ago, and literally, it looks so bad. It is peeling everywhere. You guys, I'm sorry, this is terrifying. I have plans to go out. It's like St. Patrick's Day. It's literally on a Friday, best day ever. But I simply cannot. I'm holding myself in, not going outside looking like this. Well, I am going outside. I'm gonna go take a drive. That's what I'm gonna do. We're shorty. Solo activities until I don't look like a crazy dragon peeling itself. I have a good feeling that just means new skin is coming. My medication is purging. It's working. Everything is working in my favor. I'm feeling lucky today, can you tell? <laughs> Okay, I forgot to do a one week update after my chemical peel. This is I think roughly, actually for sure two weeks after. This is now two weeks after. I don't know, I feel like it is a little bit better. The thing that I think is better about it is that there, I think there's like one or two zits that are like active. The rest is just red. And today I'm going in for another chemical peel. I normally don't do them as close together, 
but I kind of set up a treatment plan with my girl. We're going to try to attack it pretty heavy right now before the summer hits and the sun is hitting my face because you can't really do it when it's hot out. Now that we know what type of acne this is and the fact that I have redness and like that's what we're really going to be tackling, she has a specific peel that she'll be doing on me. So that's an update. I'll come back. I'll show you what my skin looks like when I'm back from my facial and then I'll give you guys another update and see how much is working? Oh, also, I can't believe I didn't tell you guys this, but like four days ago, I upped my dosage. So now I'm taking 150 milligrams of spironolactone. So that's exciting. Um, I know it's kind of too early technically to tell if it's actually working, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep pounding at it, pounding at it more, more, more. I really am trying to do the most to get this gone as quick as possible. Okay, I'm back from the facial. Here's an update on Here's an update on my skin. Um, yeah, it looks a little bad. But she was even saying it looks way better than when you came in last time because it's showing results that there's no more active acne. So that's good. I'll update you guys in a week. One week update. Supposed to be ice rolling my face. This is... This is the one thing that I'm like, okay, this is a cap. Apparently it's like really good for inflammation, which is like my number one thing that I have. I have pigmentation and inflammation. <laughs> pigmentation and inflammation. Yeah, it looks really bad, but I feel like it's better. I don't know, ice rolling, just like, I literally feel like it doesn't make my pigmentation better, but everyone's like, do it, do it, do it, it's sort of so good. I don't even know, and no, it doesn't really feel like it. I hate being cold, that's like my least favorite thing, that's why I moved to Arizona. See, watch, it just makes my face more red, I feel like. Things are finally looking up and I'm so happy to say that. Here is an update on my skin. As you can tell, it's basically just leftover pigmentation and acne scarring. So as you can tell, every three to four weeks, I went back to get another facial, very repetitive. It would make me peel, but I would grow new skin. But when I would peel, I wouldn't want to go in public. It was just like a nasty cycle, but something I had to go through. Yeah. You don't have this face. Okay, I just got done with hopefully my last ever chemical peel. I am so happy to say that because my skin is getting so much better. That one was basically tackling all my pigmentation and a couple of random active acnes that I have acnes that I've got like on my forehead and stuff. Normally, you guys, when I come out of chemical peels. My face is a tomato and I have extractions everywhere, but like literally, why is it kind of like not even that bad? It's really just my pigmentation. Like looking back at old pictures, I'm like, thank God, like we've come so far. And fuck chemical peels, they are so not fun to do. And then to deal with the peeling after, like it sucks. You literally look like a snake. So I'm so glad that that was my last one. Seconds after. You guys, I just found out about something that is a huge acne trigger to so many people and I had no idea before. Your shampoo and conditioner. Rubbing against your face when you're sleeping, during the day, on your back if you struggle with back knee. Once you think about it, you're like, oh yeah, no shit. That probably makes a lot of sense. The one thing that you're gonna wanna look for is a shampoo and conditioner that is non-comedogenic. You know what I was using before? Moroccan oil. Is Moroccan oil non-comedogenic? No. It literally was probably adding to my acne problem so much. So I now use day hair. Day hair is non comedogenic so I don't have to worry about it. It also just smells like so freaking good and like fruity. I'm obsessed. Hey guys, I'm feeling a little discouraged right now. I'm still breaking out. Um, wow, 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 wow. This camera, this lighting is literally absolutely terrifying. It just 
especially sucks for me because you guys know in the last couple of clips I very much thought that, like my skin was doing like a lot better and I, I mean I don't know anymore. I just I'm trying to do everything like I'm scared that this medication isn't enough but beyond taking so much of it now but it's so shitty little update I feel like I am having a decent amount of breakouts still which is very upsetting it is basically my three month mark I have progress but it's not where I thought I'd be at this point I thought I'd share with you something I've been adding into my little routine lately tea yeah so apparently spearmint is like really good for acne so I've been drinking literally a cup a day for probably a week now not that long but yeah cheers Ugh, this is so disappointing. My skin is doing a lot better. I have like tinted sunscreen on and blush, so it's probably hard to tell. But I'm going in for a microneedling session right now and I'm really excited because, you know, this means just pigmentation and scarring is left and that means we're doing better. So after my skin was finally showing some improvement, I got to switch to something called a re-bio peel. Um, the BioPeel is a brand, it's not brand new, but it's brand new to the U.S. It's made in Italy, so it's called BioRepeal. It has biophasic technology in it, a 35% TCA peel that works on your skin from the inside out versus most other chemical peels are from the outside in. So since it has the biophasic technology, it has near immediate results. Typically it takes about two days for them to kick in. After that, you'll be able to do the treatment seven to 10 days apart, which no other peel has ever been able to do that before. Um, and it works with any kind of pigmentation, acne, acne scars, um, fine lines and wrinkles. Everyone's a good candidate. And yeah, you can do it as much as you want. You can't ever overdo this peel, which is why it's so unique. I have hope in this new peel. Um, apparently it is significantly better than microneedling and chemical peels, all of the above. I feel like this whole vlog is me getting facials, but that has been something that has been helping so much along with hand in hand the new medication that I got. One thing I've been doing for a couple months now is actually braiding my hair like almost every night. I didn't really ever realize how much your hair carried oils, chemicals and stuff that can like rub on your pillow and then obviously rub back into your skin. So keeping your hair away from your face when you sleep is a great idea. Like yeah, you could put it in a bun, but that would cause so much breakage. And this is honestly such a cute way to do it because then when you wake up, you have like beautiful hair. Beautiful. I just did my nighttime routine. Literally all of that is flat. It is just the pigmentation left for us to tackle. It took us a while longer than I thought, but we're finally getting there. So after the six month mark, that's definitely when I noticed the biggest difference and the most difference. So before we go on with the video, I wanna share some little tips and tricks that I have implemented in my life throughout learning all of this stuff about acne. Changing your pillowcase every three to five days. You don't realize how much this impacts yourself, but there are so much bacteria that grows on your pillow for eight hours when you sleep there. Along with that, Number one tip is to switch your detergent. No one thinks about this, but I made the switch to fragrance-free, the clean-free deodorant. Um, detergent, detergent. You know, change your deodorant too. Fuck aluminum. Drink water. You had to have known I was gonna say this because everyone says it, but it does help flush out all of the toxins, all of the things that acne feeds upon. My best reference is to drink two to three Stanleys a day. <laughs> Collagen. I. In the last like six months, I've been really obsessed with collagen. It creates new skin growth. Not only that, but it helps your hair, your nails, everything that a girl wants. So every day I call it my mineral water and I take collagen, put it in my water, take it with my vitamins, chug it right when I wake up. And it's honestly like a good morning ritual. I can also put it in smoothies. I can put it in anything. It's like the best. And it tastes like nothing if you were wondering. Today is six months on Starlactone and my new birth control. Whoa! Cannot believe I'm still filming this video. Like, I did not, I thought it was gonna be a three month thing. Um, but you know what? We, 
We're gonna do it. We're gonna see our way through. I just washed my face and I'm using my clean skin towels to dry my face. Always, always, always use these. I love them. Back with another update. Today is August 10th and I'm finally at the stage when I'm ready for a laser. I've been wanting to do this for so long, but I couldn't because, you know, most of my skin was still active acne. Now all of this pigmentation is completely flat. Such a big step for me, and this laser is a super expensive thing that my esthetician doesn't even have, so it was also like I had to go research and find someone that was good that had the Aero Lace laser. Basically, this laser is magic. It can help so many, so many skin problems that you might have. I went to the glow doctor for this laser. She has an aero lace laser. She was amazing and I ended up going to her three times. So I'm gonna get started. I am gonna do like a little test bus so you can kind of get an idea of okay. what it looks like. So here we go. How is that? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. Okay, how is that? Woohoo! Easy peasy, right? Yeah, that was like what? Seven minutes. Mm -hmm. So fast. It's really quick. Oh, so bright now. <laughs> Flash forward a couple weeks. I am back. I didn't film for the last couple weeks because I felt like I was getting in the same routine and I didn't feel like I needed to update you guys. But it's October 1st now. I dyed my hair so I probably look so much different from the previous clips. And we're finally towards the end of this whole process that I thought was going to take three months and has taken over six. At the end of the day, all I wanted was clear skin and I knew it was going to take a long time. Finally, we are at the microneedling stage. I've been there before, but now I'm just even closer to the very end. I'm still working on the texture. I'm still working on the pigmentation. I mean, my skin is so smooth. It's very flat, but there's a lot of indents and little ridges and like red patches. That's what we're working on. We're still working on that. It looks even better after every time I do a treatment though. When's the last time I got my I don't even remember. I think it's been probably four months for you. Cause we did four bio peels. And Holy crap. Some were two weeks apart, but some were like, uh, three or four weeks part because it was pretty much wow. depending on This is immediately after I got out I'm still pretty red on my cheeks and my whole face is like really hot I haven't had this in like she said like four to five months. So it's going to hurt me a little bit I love the results that I see with microneedling so I'm glad I did it I am back for a final skin update. It has been so long since I've talked to you. It is January 18th. Um, insane, I know. I partly forgot I was filming this YouTube video because my skin started to clear up. I was getting so much happier. I obviously still have a random breakout, but I don't even care at this point. Compared to like what my skin was before, I am just so so grateful that that medication worked that I did all the facials to help it regulate my skin I am just in such a better place mentally and my skin is too like oh my goodness you guys But let's just do a close-up like first of all everything is completely flat and I obviously have no makeup on right now Redness is like the one thing that I would say I'm like struggling the most with I do still have some blemishes here, but they're literally just red marks from past acne blemishes if you compare my skin right now to what it was before like i think you would shit your pants i am so happy with the results i can't believe it's been almost a year i was looking back at the footage a few days ago and i was like this is insane i thought it was gonna be like a four month process but little did i know it was going to be an 11 month process Granted, my skin has been like this for like the last two to three months. I just didn't really have time to film the end of this video or edit it because it was a vlogmas and it was a bunch of the holidays going on. So I figured it'd be better if I just left it for the new year. But yeah, my skin has been so happy. Which going from the amount of acne that I had, you can't go to clear skin, smooth skin, no texture skin, no redness skin in a year. So that's something I just have to accept. I am completely fine with it. I can continue doing the tretinoin. 
I can continue doing my skincare, going in for facials every once in a while. <sighs> I feel like I can take a deep breath and be like fully confident in myself again. I started one new skincare thing that I'm gonna continue on for I think the rest of my life. So let's skip to tonight when I show you that. Now that my skin is good and has no active acne, I'm ready for tretinoin. Honestly, I haven't been using this stuff for that long. I've been using it for two and a half weeks at this point. It definitely did give me a breakout point. I got like five to seven zits. I was super annoyed. But also, that's how you know the tretinoin is good. It's like pushing all the bad stuff out. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and apply some. All you need is a pea-sized amount. Place it evenly on your face. If you guys don't know anything about tretinoin, you only use it two to three times a week. Honestly, it's not like I necessarily need another acne product, but having one is helping with the texture, helping with the redness. So it's not like something I want to be on temporary. I want to be on it for a long time. It'll help with wrinkles. It'll help with everything that I might need. Always pair it with a moisturizer. You do not want your skin drying out because of it. And there we go. And that's it. I am currently on tretinoin. I'm loving it. I guess I'm only on week two and a half. I did have some breakouts from it, but nothing too crazy. I think I got like four or five zits, but like nothing of what I'm used to, okay? Maybe I'll be using this for like 20 plus years and then I'll never get a wrinkle. That would be amazing. Thank you for watching this video. Comment down below if you're going through anything similar because I know I can relate. I felt like I was in the deepest darkest hole for so long because of that but it's natural at the end of the day everyone i don't care if it's one zit or 20 zits everyone goes through something similar than this and can kind of at least know how it feels i love you guys you guys are all beautiful looking back at this footage of me i was beautiful it's just hard to see in the moment because it's so different for you but just know you are beautiful i love you all and i will see you guys next week